back to 500 days of positivity day 241 it is the 9th of the 12th 2014 and it's a Tuesday and today I thought that seeing as I'm on this sick roll I'm going to share some kind of I guess tips or just some things that I find work well to make you feel better when you are sick and I don't know I just thought it'd be nice to have a sharing kind of vlog so there's gonna be three things that I'm gonna talk about today the first is to do with yourself and the other two are to do with food and drink the first thing that I decided to do this morning and I didn't do it yesterday but I decided to do it this morning because I kind of went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I was like oh my gosh I look like crap obviously because because if you're sick you look very drained because your body's coping and trying to go through with trying to get your body better so I was thinking what can I do to kind of make myself feel better and this is kind of like a mind play because I was like if I kind of trick my mind into thinking I look healthy then maybe I'll feel a bit better so what I decided to do is I decided to use the power of makeup so that is tip number one one. Using a bit of makeup to kind of just make you feel a bit brighter and a bit puckier and so what I did was I just used a little bit of concealer and a little bit of mascara. Just put a bit of concealer underneath my eyes to just kind of brighten it up as if I got a really good night's sleep and also I used a bit of mascara to kind of make my eyes go and I do feel a little bit better. Oh, three things. I used three things and then I put a little bit of lip gloss on because so I'm like, I feel like having shiny lips, so why not? That is tip number one. Obviously this will work with girls and guys, I don't see anything wrong in if you are sick and you know, if your wife or your girlfriend or your sister has a bit of concealer around to just dab a little bit underneath because if it makes you feel better, then that's all that matters. That is my first tip. The second tip is actually something that I'm going to make right now and it is soup and this is probably a globally known thing that when you're sick soup is the key thing to go to because you don't want anything too heavy you don't want anything too hard to digest when you're sick because that might cause some awful things going on in your stomach and you just want something really warm nice and light but nutritious as well because when your body is going through sickness it needs lots of vitamins and minerals to combat that sickness so today I'm going to be making a veggie soup and I think I'm going to make it with broccoli potato possibly maybe not I think just broccoli and carrots and some onions some garlic vegetable stock super simple and I'm gonna have that probably with a slice of toast because I love soup with bread and let's get to that suggestion is obviously fluids and drinks and again with sickness and any kind of like virus or flu I think having warm drinks and just drinks that kind of help you hydrate but also just keep you warm are really nice and two of them that I've been really enjoying whilst I've been sick this sounds very weird two drinks that I've been enjoying whilst I have been sick are this pucker peppermint and licorice tea and then obviously the other one is just plain old peppermint tea and um, those are just the two that I have actually been really really enjoying whilst I've been sick so if you were sick those two could be good as well. So there you have it guys, that is the veggie soup and I added some toast and butter and for me that is like the perfect sick food because 
you have really good veggies, it's warm, it's just so comforting and then I always love buttered toast with soups because it's just, it makes the meal complete and I just love buttered toast. So that is actually going to be my positive of today, it's just having a lovely warm soup to try and help combat this horrible flu but it's still a positive, even if you are sick there is going to be positives or there are going to be positives in the day. So that's awesome, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Tuesday. As always, leave me your positives in the comments down below, or you can tweet them to me, tag me in a picture on Instagram, or send a post on Facebook using the hashtag Happy Potter or 500 Days of Positivity. That would be absolutely wonderful. Today's daily positive comes from Danny, and Danny said that she's actually going to be baking a cake, which is super cool, and I would really love to see how the cake turns out, Danny. So when you're done, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this kind of different style of 500 Days of Positivity vlog. I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more exciting and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And yeah guys, stay positive and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day of positivity. Bye!